and welcome back to Kate's Corner. This week, we're going to be making coping skills fortune tellers. This is a really fun craft that turns a basic fortune teller into something a little bit more therapeutic. These are great to use when you're feeling down or when you want a little me time and you're not sure how to spend it. The supplies are really simple. All you need is a piece of paper. In this case, I'm using construction paper just to make it a little more festive, but regular printer paper will do the trick and something to write on that paper. So I've got markers here. You can use markers, crayons, just pens, whatever you've got lying around the house. And that's it, that's all you need. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do is take our regular piece of construction paper or printer paper, which is a rectangle, and fold it to turn it into a square. In order to work with just that square, we're also gonna cut off this extra piece here. Now, we have a square to work with. And go ahead and get rid of that piece. You'll see the square is folded in half already, one direction. We're gonna go ahead and fold it in half the other direction as well. All right, now that we've folded it in both those directions, we're gonna take each corner and fold it in toward the middle. Once you fold it in all your corners, it should look like this. Once you've got this, go ahead and flip it over so it's just a plain box side. And from there, we're gonna fold each corner in again. Now, one side looks like this, and the other looks like this. You're gonna go ahead and fold inward on this side, right in half. So you've got your little rectangle here with a slit on each side. You're gonna go ahead and put your index finger and your thumb in each side and push together. All right, time to unfold it and fill it in with colors, numbers, and coping skills. You can see here that I've gone ahead and drawn lines everywhere that we folded to make it easy to follow along. You can do that, or you can just follow along with what we've attached when you're ready to make your own. For starters, on these four outside corners, I'm gonna go ahead and put colors. here I've written them all in the same color but if you want to get creative like my other fortune teller you're welcome to design it any way you like including matching your marker to the color that you're writing so once we've got our colors written in these four corners we're going to start with our numbers the numbers are going to be the next innermost triangles that you see all around here there are eight of them so I'm gonna go ahead and start with one. Now you'll notice I tilted those numbers based on what they're gonna look like once we refold this. Um, but again, you can see that in what we've attached and you can just copy this one if you wanna do that as well. Now for the most exciting part, time to add our coping skills. 
This is a great place to have a discussion about what some of your favorite coping skills are as a parent, as a kid, um, and what really helps you feel better in a moment when you need it. Some examples I've got on my fortune teller over here are taking three deep breaths, talking to a friend, or going for a walk. But you can fill this in with whatever works for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this one in. all your coping skills, that's when we're gonna refold. So you're gonna flip it over to the plain side and we're gonna fold the same way we did the first time. Okay, so first going across this way, then unfolding across this way, then unfolding. Now we're gonna bring each of these into the middle. We've got that square again. This is when we flip it over and bring each of these into the middle. Now we've got our smaller square. That's turned to go ahead and fold it into a rectangle. You'll know you're on the right track if your rectangle has colors on the outside. Once you're there, you're gonna take your index finger and your thumb Slide them in, and there you have it. All right, now that you've got a fortune teller of your own, let's talk about how to use it. So, if you've done these before, you're gonna use it the exact same way you use your other fortune tellers. For those of you who haven't, I'll do a quick tutorial. So, the first thing you're gonna do is pick a color. I'm gonna pick pink, and then I'm gonna spell it out, opening and closing my fortune teller, like this. P, I, N, K. Now, when I look inside, I've got some numbers to choose from. I'm gonna go ahead and pick four, and I'm gonna open and close it four times, just like I did with the spelling of pink. One, two, three, four. Got these numbers to choose from one more time. I'm gonna pick eight. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the flap that has eight on it. Hmm. My eight says to take three deep breaths. So I'm gonna take three deep breaths just like that. And if I think I need to do a little bit more, I can go ahead and play again. So there's no limit on how many times you can use your coping skills fortune teller or when to use it. It's totally up to you. Hope you enjoy yours. <laughs>